Moving along on showing all the pieces of content that you can add in PebblePad on the template slash workbook side. Um, just got through showing the embed feature, a particularly important part uh, that can be used on workbooks. Uh, the final part of the hints tab is purely decorative uh, horizontal line that you see pops up there. Just allows you to separate pieces of, of information, something that uh, can make your layout look a little more aesthetically pleasing. So we move on into the next uh, tab, which is ratings. This gives you options to have your students um, choose between two things, uh, true or false, or um, so whatever they select, they can only select one of these, um, true, false, favorite ice cream, you know, chocolate, vanilla. Um, it's, and as you can see, you cannot add more, more pieces. It's purely a either or here on the Likert scale, you can, um, say this is, uh, a 10, this is a one, rate how much you like ice cream on a scale of one to 10. Here in properties, um, we can show you more about properties in a separate video, but uh, can quickly show you, you can add as many um, as, as you'd like. And uh, similarly, numeric um, allows you to um, you know, rate something from one to ten. It's a, a different little wrinkle of, uh, but it, again, asking for some kind of uh, quantitative information from uh, from your student uh, could be good for a, a survey that you may be doing it in your class, for instance. A cousin to the ratings. Um, uh, to close out this portion of the video, we'll go to capabilities. You'll see numeric, binary. We've talked about radio button before. The last piece that we haven't seen is evidence. Um, this is something that you would put in to um, you know, demonstrate experience. Um, this is where you're giving a, a uh, kind of a title or a prompt to your students. You can type in information. Um, you need to go into more detail here in the hints or descriptions. Um, and then students will be able to take, be able to click, uh, click this, show you what it looks like on their end. They'll be able to click this and they can provide some textual evidence they can add an asset and now they have they can put in anything whether it's been reflections they've done a pebble pad or uploaded into pebble pad um, videos images anything that they can use to quote unquote evidence uh, what you're asking for um, and they can say this item um, we'll put something in Now they can say this item, uh, it's almost, it's in progress, or they can say this item is now fully evidenced. Um, so th this can be, um, a, a, these are things that you can ask for separately uh, by using the other components in, in PebblePad, uh, but this is a good catch-all way for students to kind of expound on an experience you may be asking them to do. Um, so getting evidence is a, is a, could be a good pedagogical tool for sure.